Ivan, can you go ahead and pop the hood? We're gonna do uh, an engine bay detail today. Nick, it's at the other end. Today, we're gonna be doing the engine on this C8 Corvette. The owner specifically asked us to do the engine. The C8 Corvette has a few vents here that make it so the engine is open to the air. Uh, therefore, we need to clean it. He's going to a show soon, so we wanna make sure that engine is nice and clean, and we're gonna make it easier to maintain in the future. Nick, the engine is cooled off. It's been sitting here overnight, so we don't have to worry about heat. That's something you don't want to do is start spraying on a hot engine. That makes sense to me. Next, we're gonna use all clean, diluted 15 to one. Now, there's a lot of dust on this engine. There's not a lot of grease. It's not leaking oil or anything like that. So we're gonna get the foam in from a couple different angles. That way we're not missing anything. And what are you avoiding here? What are you watching out for? Because I know engine bays can be risky. Yeah, in this case, I'm not avoiding anything uh, simply because I know that this engine is actually exposed to water all the time. But we are going to be avoiding pressure. So we're not going to be using the pressure washer to rinse this off. We're actually going to be using the hose. So now I have all this done and we're gonna let the all clean sit for a minute or two. So Ivan, we foamed on the all clean. Right. We added a couple of big drying blankets just to protect this trunk area here. Exactly. Um, now we've got incredible suds in our foam cannon. I'm basically gonna do this for added lubrication when we're gonna get in there with the brushes. <laughs> Man, this looks uh, like a wet and foamy engine. Is there any disclaimer about don't try this at home for folks? I mean, because an engine bay can be a dangerous proposition. Definitely, yeah. An engine bay, you don't want to use high pressure. You don't want to get certain things wet. There's no ECM here. You know, it's located somewhere else, so we're safe that way. Now, we get our nice little detail brushes. And we have some fun. Smells good. Yeah. Now you'll notice we're leaning over the sides here. No concern, we are going to be polishing and ceramic coating the outside of the vehicle, so if we happen to cause a little bit of marring on the outside, we'll be taking care of it. If not, you can get something to cover the paint as you're doing this, leaning over the engine. I'm not a gearhead myself. Uh, my philosophy with engine bay cleaning has always been, I, I clean what I can see. Yeah, and that's what we're after here. We know that this is actually an almost daily driven car, which is excellent. It's not a garage queen in any way, shape, or form. And it's gonna get dirty again. But, like I mentioned, he's going to a show. He wants the top end to look nice. This brush is a little too big for some of these areas. So. Here's a smaller one for you. I kind of wonder if our green flag tip would actually be better. In some areas, yes, but there's not a lot of flat surfaces here to get that into, so. That's true. We have these vents and wire looms here that make it a little tricky. Beautiful stainless steel heat shields, them all shined up. So what's your favorite year of Corvette or body style? Leave it in the comments below. Yeah. For driving, this is my favorite. For looks, I'm a early C3 fan. But they've never made a bad looking Corvette. As far as I'm concerned. There we go. So next, I'm using a rinseless wash. Just go around the outside here. 
and get the upper cover and the back window. And we know that the seal for the trunk comes to here. We can see it where it goes. So we will get that as well. Now we could have foamed that down as well, but I'm trying to stay as mess free as possible. So the garden hose on the, uh, the shower setting. And wouldn't you want to start top to bottom here? Yeah, I'm just getting some of it off here. Now after this, we'll be immediately washing the outside so I'm not too concerned about water spots. And while I'm here, there's drains in the corner here. So I'm just making sure that these drains are flowing properly. And they are. And if they aren't, that's something you need to have your mechanic look at. They're looking much better than it was a few minutes ago, but that water's sitting rather flat. And we want to make it easier to clean the next time. So for that, we're going to be using quick beads, shaked it up. Quick beads on the cover and the back window, on these outside portions, if you want to get that sure. one. And then we'll go into the engine afterwards. So we'll let the quick beads sit for a minute or two. 30 seconds actually, but quick beads is fast acting. Now Nick, let loose in there. Yeah? Let's go. The Our water activated ceramic. What's that? Yeah, I said the master of overspraying. Let's do it, baby. This is where he can actually get into his groove. Wow, Ivan's not even gonna say anything. He's like, just go to town? Yeah, well, because we're wanting to get it everywhere. Okay. I'm and, an artist. And we're not using the pressure washer. So we get it from different angles. And then, check this out. Holds it off. I want to make sure to rinse away all the quick beads residue. We want to make sure all that little frothiness has gone away and once it's gone. We're good to dry. Look at how hydrophobic those engine bay compartment yep. substrates are. Now, we happen to have some drying blankets here, so we're going to use them to our advantage dry off the majority, and then finish with a master blaster. Like I mentioned before, there's vents back here, these three vents on either side. So when it rains outside, guess where the water's going? On the engine. Dust everywhere. So yes, this engine is open to the environment, unfortunately. Get the last little drips here. Get the windows. Oh man, it's slick to the touch without that quick beads. It definitely is. This will make it much easier to clean in the future and looking a lot better. So engine bay cleaning, not difficult to do. You have to be patient though. Uh, you notice with the Master Blaster, I had to go over the same areas multiple times because there's water that gets hidden in these areas, these cracks here, and when that happens, it flies out, it'll hit the window again, you'll have to come back to the window, et cetera, et cetera. 
So uh, if this is a show car, then you'll have a lot more work to do. This is a daily driver. If it was a show car, these stainless steel covers, they have, they're water spotted. They just happen to be right under the vents. So every time it rains, they get covered in rainwater. If they're hot, that water immediately seizes on the surface. So if someone were wanting to polish these up, easy enough to do, but like I said, this is a daily driver. There's really no point in doing that. Yeah, we have a very slick, smooth surface here and a good looking engine cover. If folks wanted a little bit more pop, they could dress this up a little bit. Yeah, you could put a dressing on this. Again, this one's open to the elements. Uh, a dressing, like some people will put a tire dressing on and our tire lotion will do great on an engine. But in time, it's going to attract a bit of dust. Whereas this, it's a natural look, it's the way it's supposed to look, and with the quick beads on it, the dust isn't going to stick. It's dust or anti-static. So you're doing a long play here, but if you were trying to impress somebody at a show, putting something like tire dressing on the engine cover would be... Oh, definitely, yeah. A great if you, pop. You know, if you're uh, trying to win the award at uh, the local Corvette show, then yeah, you'll want to do that. Maybe even polish and uh, ceramic coat these sides. Uh, they would look spectacular once polished up. But again, this one's a daily driver. He is more concerned about having a fun time driving the car than he is how it looks. I wonder if you could even just take some gold standard polish on a rag on here. Yeah, you and, could. And that would finish it up even without a machine. Yeah, you could, definitely. Just for the DIYer who's like, I don't know if I could touch a polisher, but I want my engine bay to look good. Yep. Now these water spots or water drops, don't worry, they're on the outside of the window. Let me just triple check you. Yep. Because of the vents, the water came out where it normally goes in. Well, Nick, what do you think? It's clean, it's super easy to wipe off, and honestly, less intimidating, I think, for the average person than they may first assume. Exactly. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, or ideas, leave them below. And if you like hypercars like this, well, take a look at this video. It's actually a Fiat, and guess what? We clean that engine bay, too.